when I leave this sheet of paper from a certain height, then it falls slowly. Then it falls slowly. And when I cross the same paper, when I cross the same paper, and when I leave it from a certain height, the same height, then it falls fast. Hello everyone. Welcome to Unity World Study. Today in this lecture, we are going to study about free fall and weightlessness. About free fall and weightlessness. And under free fall, we are going to study coin and feather experiment. And under weightlessness topic, we are going to study weightlessness in a satellite. We will discuss these two subtopics under two subtopics respectively. Now, before this lecture, I have already released seven lectures. If you haven't watched such lectures, then go and watch because this lecture is extremely dependent lecture. So without getting time, let's start our lecture. Here we discuss free fall and weightlessness. Free fall. What is free fall? When uh when we when we drop any object from a certain height, suppose when I when I drop this object from certain height this object falls due to the effect of gravity due to the effect of gravity and as a result acceleration is produced on the object this acceleration is called acceleration due to gravity this is called acceleration due to gravity therefore we can define when a body is falling only the under the if only under the influence of gravity the body the fall of body is said to be weightlessness. No, free fall. The fall of body is said to be free fall. Here we define. Free fall. When here, when a body is falling only under the effect of gravity with no resistance. The body is said, the fall of body is said to be free fall. It means when no any resistance is there and body is falling only under the influence of gravity, then such fall of the body is called free fall. Then such fall of the body is called free fall. Best example of free fall is the falling of object on the moon or falling of object in vacuum. This is the example of free fall. In free fall case, the acceleration due to gravity is equal to the acceleration of a body. It means acceleration produced on a body is equal to the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration produced on a falling, freely falling body is equal to the acceleration due to gravity. If you satisfy this case, then your body is in free fall. Then your body is in free fall. So now we discuss free fall that is when and feather experiment. When and feather experiment. And before that, I am going to discuss one important question. When we when we leave the sheet of paper, then it falls slowly due to the resistance. Due to the resistance. Okay. And when we cross such paper, the same paper, then it falls fast because there is no resistance. I show you example now. Suppose this is a sheet of paper, yeah. This is exactly the sheet of paper. And when I leave, when I leave this sheet of paper from a certain height, then it falls slowly. Then it falls slowly. And when when this it falls slowly due to the air resistance because air is acting on this on the sheet of paper as an resistance as a resistance and when i cross the same paper when i cross same paper and when i leave it from a certain height the same height then it falls fast why because there is negligible air resistance acting on the cross paper acting on this acting on this first paper okay therefore we can say that when the body when the body is falling with the negligible air resistance when negligible air resistance is acting on the body the body is also considered to be in free fall 
therefore now we go to our topic that is coin and feather experiment coin and feather experiment here before that what happened galileo galilei he was italian physicist and he what he told he told that free fall is independent of mass of the body means the when object falls freely then mass of body is not considered it means free fall is independent the acceleration of the body is in the, in the free fall is independent of the mass so to prove this statement robert boyles he was a british scientist or you can say physicist british scientist or physicist robert boyle robert r o robert robert boyle performed an experiment known as coin and feather experiment or it is also called robert robert boyle's experiment or robert boyle's experiment this experiment is called coin and feather experiment because two objects are taken one is heavier and one is lighter that is feather is lighter and coin is heavier two objects of different mass that is coin and feather are taken in this experiment what he performed he performed experiment in such a way that he took one jar he put he put feather he put feather suppose this is feather he put feather and coin at the same height at the same height and he lift he lift this two he drop this two that is feather and coin at on the same time but he see after when the uh, this two bodies falls down what he see, what he saw he saw that coin falls faster than feather coin falls faster than feather feather now he uh, again performed this experiment he again performed the same experiment but in this time he ejected all the air in the glass he ejected all all the air from glass using pipe using pipe or vacuum cleaner all the air is ejected in the second glass second time first time and second time all air is ejected it means here vacuum is here is vacuum now he performed the same experiment he put feather he put feather and coin on the same height now he lift both feather and coin what he found he found the astonishing result he found that feather and coin falls at the same time falls at the same time it means according to his experiment he found that as a conclusion it means the acceleration of the body freely falling body is independent independent of its mass it means he correct he means he found that the statement of galileo galilei was true the conclusion of robert boyle's experiment is generally asked in your examination what is the conclusion of robert boyle's experiment or coin and feather experiment this is the conclusion the explanation the conclusion of robert boyle's experiment or coin and feather experiment is the acceleration of a freely falling body is same for all bodies and is independent of mass it means the acceleration produced means the acceleration of a freely falling body here is same for all bodies it means acceleration produced on the coin on the coin is same for the feather also and this is independent of mass the free fall is independent of mass 
we have completed this three fold topic points and feather experiment two. Now we jump to our next topic that is weightlessness. Okay, what is weightlessness? Now we discuss our next topic that is weightlessness. What is weightlessness? It is our common experience when we jump from a certain height. When when we jump from a certain height, we feel loss in our weight. We feel loss in our weight. And same condition when the lift descends, when the lift goes down or descends, we feel weight loss in our weight. And when we stand on the rigid or rigid surface or rigid body then we feel we feel contact force contact force or reaction force to the body and this is this makes us feel our weight and when the body when we jump from a certain height when we jump from a certain height we feel loss in our weight this loss in our weight is said to be weightlessness. This loss in our weight is said to be weightlessness. It means when we fall from or when we fall from a certain height, then we feel loss in our weight. This loss in our weight is called weightlessness. This loss in weight is said to be weightlessness. weightlessness we have discussed what is weightlessness it means when we jump we feel loss in our weight this loss is in our weight is called weightlessness and when we define the weightlessness theory then it is defined as when we it is defined as when a body experiences the zero weight the body is said to be in weightlessness When a body experiences experiences zero weight, zero weight, the body is the body is said to be in, in weightlessness. It means here G A is equal to G or here A is equal to G or G is equal to zero. Not A is equal to G is equal to zero. It means when when weight of the body is hit zero, then in that condition we feel weightlessness. Now we go to the next that is subtopic that Weightlessness in a satellite. Weightlessness in a satellite. It means we know satellite is we know satellite revolves it is a satellite. Sat satellite revolves around Earth. This is due to this is due to the centripetal and this is due to the centripetal force. Earth attracts force towards this satellite. And acceleration is produced on the satellite. Okay, this acceleration is called is also said to be centripetal acceleration. Centripetal acceleration. And the astronaut in the satellite also feels weightlessness. Why? See here, when the satellite is revolving, when satellite is revolving around Earth or around any planet, around Earth, then the then Earth attracts, then Earth attracts this satellite with some force, with some force. But gravity, it's gravity. It means the same gravity, same gravity is also act, is also acting on the person in satellite. Since there is no any, no any force in space, the only there is the force of. Earth. 
and due to the force of earth same force is acting on satellite and the man or astronauts too suppose when suppose this is a box or this is some box suppose this is box. when a person stands here when a person stands here and when i when i lift this when i lift this box then it falls goes down it goes down and the person also goes down with the same force person also goes down with the same force it means the contact between them is not going to be the contact the contact is not going to be between them the same condition is here satellite is means the force is attracting satellite the force of earth that is gravity attracts satellites towards it and person is also attracted with the same force due to this satellite and person person or astronaut in the satellite feels weightlessness we have completed two topics that is free fall and weightlessness under free fall we have mm, discussed about when and feather experiment that is robert wells experiment the conclusion we have given us and in next topic we have discussed weightlessness weightlessness definition of weightlessness this is when a body experiences zero weight the body is said to be in weightlessness and weightlessness in satellite we have also discussed we have also discussed now we discuss one question the question is the question is the satell uh, satellite does not need any force to revolve around the earth but this is a question why satellite doesn't need any energy to revolve around earth the answer of this question is because it is due to the balance centripetal and centrifugal force centrifugal force provided by gravitational force of the earth earth also earth provides earth provides centripetal force it applies centrifugal force this is due to the balance centripetal and centrifugal force of the gravity provided by the gravitational force between them the gravitational force is between them and due to this force this force provides centrifugal and centripetal force which is balanced in each other due to this satellite does not fall down due to this satellite does not fall down and it does not even need any energy to revolve around the earth in this way we have completed our lecture that is in we have completed two topics in this lecture free fall and weightlessness so for this lecture only this much in next lecture we will do rapid revision of this first chapter first chapter so for this lecture only this much thank you for today yeah.